Hey guys, this is Sam again from fightforex.info. Today I'm going to make a video about how to run multiple instances of MetaTrader 4 on your same machine and when the MetaTrader 4 is provided by the same um, provider or platform like IG in this case. So I'm going to show an example by installing multiple instances of IG MetaTrader 4 software on my laptop. And uh, I came across this problem when I was trying to help somebody uh, set up and monitor multiple accounts they had on uh, their VPS. So I actually saw a video about this that showed how to do this, but the video was old and it didn't exactly apply as of today because uh, MT4 has been changed and enhanced a lot uh, in recent times. So I had to figure out a little bit of a trick uh, and then I decided, okay, why not make a video so all of you can benefit from this, right? So if you're looking to install multiple instances of same MetaTrader 4 platform on your machine and try to run multiple accounts, and then this is how you do it, okay? So first step is download the installable or the installation file, right? So let's take an example of IG. So I went to IG.com and went to their download link and downloaded this file IG4setup.exe, right? So let's start with the process. So my goal is to try and set up multiple demo accounts on my machine for IG and try and run them at the same time, right? So this is the same thing you would do on your VPS, assuming that it's a Windows VPS, right? So let's run this one, double click. And then it will ask me to verify something. Let's see what it does. Okay, so it's asking me to put the PIN number for the admin account on this machine. I do that. And it's asking for my permission to run the program. Okay, so this is the trick, guys. Okay, so pay attention. So when you come to this screen, don't hit next. First, go into settings, right? And change this folder, right? So let's say, um, I want to put this in MT4IG1, right? So before I put that, I have to create that folder on my machine, right? So let's open the Windows Explorer. Let's go to C drive and let's create this folder first, right? So let's create folder MT4IG1. Right? right. So when you create that folder, you can either type it or you can just go browse. And there it is. It's selected because I had uh, created that folder. You also have an option to make it here, but since we already went ahead and created this, so I create OK. And then I hit OK. So I put this as IG group 1. I don't want to open the community website, so I go next, and it's installing now, right? So while it is installing, I, I don't want you to rush into this, okay? Just watch the video till the very end because one more thing needs to be done for this to work, right? So we finish. And it will try to open the um, platform. It's still trying to open the new IG for MetaTrader. So you see this? So that's the part I have to show you. We have to change one more thing. But I let it finish the installation process and let it open the platform. Okay, there it goes. It opened it and it's trying to create a demo account. Let's. Um, the demo account. Uh, let's just put 
and test s m dot test at testmail dot com. Uh, let's put some number and uh, all this is fine. I agree and hit next. Right, so it created. As a good practice, I always take these screenshots because these are really weird passwords and uh, I never remember them. So I always take a screenshot. This is something I do. You don't have to do this. Um, let me just save it on my desktop. Uh, IG1 credentials. Right, so let me save this here. Uh, get rid of this. Okay, so now you have one demo account that is um, open, right? Let's close this and pay attention. This is another important thing. You must change the shortcut title also. So I'm going to just call it MT4IG1, right? Okay, so I need administrator permissions to do this. So I will do that. Okay, I did that now, right? Okay, now our goal is to install a second one. So let's open this. Okay, back into our demo account 399072. Let's leave it alone. Let's Incoming mail. Go back to our installable. Let's try to run it again. Right. Again, it's asking for the admin password. Okay, so important thing, go to settings. Now, let's try the other way of, see, make a new folder. I'm gonna call it MT4IG2. And I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna call it IG group two. I don't want to open the community website. Next. Now it's starting to install again. Okay. It says it's finished. Let's see what happens next. See, it created another shortcut. We will rename this later. Let's see what happens now. I wish I had a faster laptop, guys. So you have to wait um, for it to load. Looks like it's doing something in the background. Well, I think I think you've got the idea, right? So so essentially, you have to go into settings before you hit next on the very first screen. Okay. And then don't forget to come back and change the um, change the um, um, icon on the on the screen, right? Okay, so go here. So this is the second one, like I do. Again, you don't have to do this. I take the screenshot of this and save it for future. Save as. I will call it IG two credentials. Okay, let's close this and finish. Voila! We have two accounts now running on IG. Incoming mail. Um, machine. Again, like I said, it's a good idea to change this. Not a good idea. I think it's important to change this because if you don't, then the next instance you install is going to just override the... Um, shortcut and uh, I don't think that's a good idea so right so you see this one you can do this multiple times guys it's like one is three nine nine zero seven three and one is three nine nine zero seven two so that's how you run multiple accounts on the same platform on mt4 on the same machine I hope um, this was clear this was useful if you like it please like the video subscribe share uh, I will appreciate that Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much and happy, happy trading. trading.